Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 48. Today we'll talk about how to go about approximating the values of square root of 2, square root of 3, and square root of 5. Square root of 2, square root of 3, and square root of 5. These are some values that you have to know by heart. If you know them by heart, it will save you a few seconds in the exam instead of having to reach for the calculator. These values appear all the time, particularly during the geometry portion of the exam. If you're preparing for ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT or GRE, these are very useful information to have. Square root of 2 is what we're going to start out with first. Now, approximating, approximating the value of these three quantity comes directly from the knowledge that we acquired on day number 30. On day number 30, we learned our squares. As I have pointed out several times in the past, and I'm going to do it one more time right now, when you're watching a given video, when you're watching day number 48, I take it for granted that you have watched all the videos from day number 1 through 47, and have mastered all the concepts covered in those videos. Do you understand? On day number 30, we learned our squares. And if you have not watched day number 30, pause this video right now, watch day number 30, make sure you know your squares by heart, because that is what we need here to be able to approximate these quantities. Let's begin with square root of 2. Now here's what's going on. The square root of 2, of course, can be written as square root of 2.00. Okay, keep listening. If we can somehow figure out what square root of 200 is, if we can somehow figure out what square root of 200 is, we are home free. Now what does knowing square root of 200 have to know with knowing your squares? Well, knowing the squares are direct, direct bearing on on figuring out the square root of 200 because we know that 14, 14 squared, 14 times 14, we learn 4 times 4 is 6, of uh, 4 fours are 16, 6 carry 1, 4 ones are 4 and 5, and then times 1 is going to be 14, 6, 9 and 1. This is something we shouldn't have to do it, we should know by heart that 14 squared is 196. Now that we know now that we know that 14 squared is 196, where does it get us? Well, what it tells us, what this work tells us is that if 14 squared, if 14 times 14 is 196, then it stands to reason that if you were to multiply 1.4 times 1.4, then simply all you have to do is take our decimal from here, take our decimal from here, and move it two places, 1 and 2, voila, right here, 1.96. What this tells us is that, what, the, what this tells us is that square root, square root of square root of 1.96, the square root of 1.96 is exactly 1.4. Is exactly 1.4. It comes right from there. Well, we're not interested in knowing the square root of 1.96. We want to find out how much square root of 2 is. Well, the square root of 1.96 is 1.4. Therefore, it stands to reason that the square root of 2 is approximately 1.4. If you were to make this claim. If you were to make the claim that square root of 2 is approximately 1.4 because the square root of 1.96 I know is exactly 1.4, well then people will say yes, nobody was going to disagree with you that 1.96 is damn close to 2, damn close to 2. Therefore square root of 2 is 1.9, therefore square root of 2 is 1.4 is what I meant to say. That's it, we're done. Know this by heart. And knowing this part comes directly from knowing your squares. Make sure you know your squares 11 through 20. Let's do square root of 3. The same exact logic will apply, the same exact system will apply, the same exact rationale will apply. The only difference is that now we have to see what we can do to find out a number that comes close to, so we don't need 2 now, we need 3. We need square root of 3. Knowing the square root of 3, knowing the square root of 3 has direct bearing on knowing the square root of 300. How much is square root of 300? Well, square root of 300, we start the process again. We know the 16 squared, 16 squared I do know, 16 squared is 256, that I do know. If 16 is 256, 256 is too far from 300. Let's try 17. Let's try 17. 17 times 17, 7 sevens are 49, 9 carry 4, 7 ones are 7, plus 4 is 11, and times 1 is going to be 17. We get 9, 8, we get 1.89. 1.89, something has gone wrong. I made a boo-boo. 7 7s are 49, 9. 
obviously if you multiply 1.7 and 1.7 you're not going to get something close to 2 this is ridiculous 49, 9, 4, 1, 11 9, 8 and this should be 2 not 1, 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 last time when my calculator was working it told me that it is 2 voila so what does this tell us? this tells us this tells us that 1.7 this tells us that 1.7 times 1.7 has to be exactly 2.89 we take our decimal and move it two places decimal was here we move it two places ends up here 2.89 so this tells us that the square root of 2.89 is exactly 1.7 is exactly 1.7 and therefore and therefore the square root of 3 is approximately 1.7 voila now for those of you who do not know the symbol that I just, just made here this symbol right here three dots let's put it here when you have three dots like this this is to be read as therefore I don't know if you can read my handwriting therefore therefore since since we know that square root of 2.89 is exactly 1.7 therefore square root of 3 is approximately 1.7 and therefore knowing the square root of 3 has direct bearing on knowing your squares of 17 17 square is 289 if 17 square is 289 it stands to reason that square root of 2.89 would be exactly 1.7 and therefore square root of 3 is about 1.7 it's close enough let's do the next one last one 5 5 has to come from knowing the square root of 500 this has to do with knowing the square root of 500 now that's tricky because we memorize our squares up to 20 and 20 squares we know is 2 20 squared 20 squared 20 times 20 we know 22 times 2 is 4 and then we got a 0 and we got a 0 20 times 20 times 20 is 400 so it only goes up to 400 I ask you to memorize your squares up to 20 but that only goes up to 400 we want 500 what can we do? we'll try out the next one see what happens try out 21 times 21 21 times 21 now listen I'm not going to do it in a baby way because it's very easy to multiply by 21 because we're only multiplying by 1 and 2 we know 21 we know 21 times 1 listen very carefully okay I'm doing I'm doing the entire thing in one shot I'm not doing it in two steps 21 times 1 is 21 1 carry 2 and 21 21 times 2 is 44 44 plus 2 is 46 is 46 but that's too far 461 is too far from 500 let's try 22 times 22 22 times 22 again I'm not going to do it in I'm not going to do, do it in two steps we're just going to do 22 as in one shot the reason I left a little bit of space in between on purpose by design is because that's where we're going to insert our decimal points. But anyway, 22 times 2. How much is 22 times 2? 2 22s are 44. So that's a 4 and carry 4. And again, 22 times 2 is 44. 44 plus 4 is 48. Oh, I said that's pretty close to 500. I can live with that. 484. Well, that's close enough to be 500. Because if you were to do 23 times 23, that would be too far. We will be too far off. We will go the other way. It will be too high compared to 500. Compared to 500. This is about as close we're going to. This is about as close as we're going to get to 500. So since 22 times 22 is 484, that tells us that tells us that 2.2 2.2 times 2.2 has to be. We have to move the decimal two places. Decimal is right here. Decimal is right here. Move it two places. One, two, 4.84. 4.84 so that tells us that tells us that square root of 4.84 is exactly 2.2 this is exactly 2.2 it's not a problem it's exactly we, will, we don't want the square root of 4.84 we're not interested in knowing the square root of 4.84 we want to find out square root of 5 since square root of 4.84 is exactly 2.2 therefore it is quite reasonable therefore it is quite reasonable it is quite reasonable to make an assertion that the square root of 5 would have to be approximately 2.2 because 5 is very close to 4.84 that's it so square root of 2 we just learned is 
square root of 3 is 1.7 and square root of 5 is 2.2 now do you realize do you realize that the way I just wrote these values 1.4, 1 1.7 and 1.2 all of that actually is utter nonsense, it's pure nonsense why? because the square root of 2 is not 1.4 we cannot make that claim, square root of 2 is approximately 1.4 square root of 3 is approximately 1.7 and square root of 5 is approximately 2.2 that's it you'll see that these will come in very handy as you do problems bye now